Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a new volume of Hot New Shit. Alright, so we have a new episode of Hot New Shit today. I am so excited. I have so much stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is very, very exciting. It's very near and dear to mi corazón. And that is the Desi Perkins slash by Key Australia collection. So these are all of the shades from Desi Perkins. I feel so weird saying her full name. From Desi's collection that she did with Key Australia, which is a sunglass company. When you guys have seen Key sunglasses in so many of my videos, whether it's favorites or hot new shit, I really love their shades. They're pretty affordable. They're usually around like 50 or $60 a pair. But she came out with a collection of three different sunglasses. One of them comes in two different colorways. I'm sure you guys have already seen them. They sold out so quick on the Key website and they're they're now available at retailers, which is really exciting because you can go try them on in person if you're close to one of the retailers or you can order it online from one of those websites. I know they're on ASOS.com. You can get them at Topshop, which I know when Crispy's collection came out, I saw them at Topshop at the Grove in LA. They have them there, they have them White Fox Boutique, but they have them at a bunch of different retailers. So if you guys are interested in them, you can go try them on, try them out before you buy them. But I'm gonna be showing you guys the different shades so the first one, which mine are kind of dirty right now because I've been wearing them a lot. This is the style on the low. What do you think? Mm. This is one of these. Too cool to care is what this is. I love this style. I know she mentioned in her video, she liked this on me with my short platinum hair, which I don't have anymore. But I love these ones. They're really, really cute, very chic. I love the flat top. I love the gold sides. They're just giving it to me and they're really, really comfortable too because they're like a lightweight, like plasticky, very comfortable on the nose, but I just love these. They give me more like tomboyish vibes, like a little bit more masculine, less feminine, which is what I love. You feel me? The next pair is called TYSM. Thank you so much. This pair is just like, oh my God, somebody give me some bubble gum right now. Get me some bubble gum. Get me a, like a muscle car, convertible muscle car. Rollerblades. Rollerblades, beach towels, knee high socks. Drive through movies. Drive through movies. Sundays. This style is so cute. They are super cat eye, which I love cat eye glasses. I mean, honestly, with this, all this color that I'm wearing right now, all this color, I'm wearing pink lipstick and a blue sports bra with a pink background. But I just feel like it really pops with a lot of color, especially pink. They have the blue mirrored lenses. You can see everything that's going on in my room right now. Super fierce cat eye. They're so cute. And I love how much of your eyebrows that they show. Very attitude-y. Again, one of these. And then the last pair, which I'm pretty sure is the most popular pair, is called High Key. Like not low key, but high key. Anyway, this is high key. These are an oversized flat lens mirrored aviator. Yes, girl. So this one comes in two different colors. You can see how mirrored they are. Mm-hmm. Do you see that? I always get liquid lipstick on these two because they stick out so much. No shade. Canines. No shade to my canines. So here is the black and silver pair. Super cute, flat lens, chic. You can see my glasses. Look, I can do like one of these. You can see my um, lashes, my queen bees. You see it? This is like a, uh, and they have cute little widgets on the side. I don't know what else to call them besides widgets, details. And then the other pair is the gold pair with the gold lens, which I love. And honestly, if you have black hair or really dark hair, you definitely need these. It looks so good. Harouche looks so bomb in them. Um, Kylie was wearing them and she looks fantastic in them. It is just such a pretty contrast. So this is the gold pair. I love this shade of gold. It's not like a tacky gold. It's just a perfect gold. So this is high key. Ooh. Right here. Okay, so those are all four of the glasses from the Desi Key Collection, and I love them all. Super excited for her. I'm yelling. Loud noises. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm super excited for her. If you guys haven't gotten them already, which you probably did, they are available at all those retailers. Um, I'll add a couple links down below too if you guys want to check them out. What do you want, what do you want to talk about next? This dick. <laughs> oh, you're such a douche. Next item is from ColourPop. ColourPop's always coming out with hot new shit. They are just known for hot new shit. Anyway, they came out with ultra metallic liquid lips and I always love their packaging. This is just so cool. Little lightning bolts all over it. So there are four shades of liquid lips in here. It's basically like an ultra matte lip, so like a liquid lipstick, except these are metallic. So you obviously can't really call it ultra matte because it's metallic. Anyway, metallic lips are kind of a new thing that we're seeing, 
but Dose of Colors actually came out with metallic liquid lipsticks last Christmas. I remember it was a set of three. One was called Teddy, one was called Corset. Can't remember the other one, but I was obsessed with those when they came out. I really loved, there was like a bright red one that looked like a Christmas ornament and it was just so pretty in pictures. It was like metallic, but not like obnoxious metallic. Anyway, so I remember those were the first metallic lips that I saw, but I'm seeing them a lot more now. So these are the four shades from ColourPop. And when I first saw the colors of these, I was, Honestly, I was a little bit surprised because they look kind of like fall or like holiday colors to me. They're a little bit dark, a little bit deeper than what I was anticipating, especially with ColourPop, you're used to- Quiet, you. Shade. Especially with ColourPop, you're used to seeing like the really outrageous kind of out there colors. I would love like a hot pink like this that was a little bit metallic-y. I think that would be- Why would you put it on vibrate the first time? Honestly? Why wouldn't you shut your face you the first sad. time? All right, so we have the four colors. We have Man Eater, which is kind of like a coppery penny shade. Three Way, which is a little bit of a, it was like a pinky purple. Made a little darker. Here is Queen, which is more of a reddish one. And then Zebra, which is a little bit more brown. So I wore Three Way the other day. I only wore it for a, like a really short period of time. I wasn't wearing it that long. I really liked it in low light, but when I took pictures in the flash, it looked a little like, Zah! it was a little bit bright for me, but I thought it looked really cool in low light. So I think these would look really good at night or if you're going out at night, something like that to an event or something. But it looks a little weird in flash pictures. So you can tell even in this lighting, like they look weird, right? It's like you can see a little bit more glitter in it or whatever the word is. But I'm just, I'm not super crazy about the finish. It was a little bit too metallic-y for me. It's not the cat's pajamas. It's not the cat's pajamas <laughs> for me. All right, next item I have to show you guys is another collab, and this one is from Makeup Shayla and Tarte. So they collabed together to come out with a highlight contour kit that was designed specifically for deeper skin tones, which I think is so amazing. So they came out with their regular contour palette like six months ago, a little longer than six months ago, and then they just came out with this one. It has the same packaging on the outside, so it's got the gold giant sphere. And then on the inside, you have six different shades in here. So you have a highlight corrector, which is also another brightener, accentuate, which is a really, really pretty blush color. And then you have two different contour colors in here. And then this one also in the middle is also another accentuating type of powder. This one's a little bit, got a little bit more bronziness in it. This one is a really pretty highlighting color. And then you have the soft yellow shade, which can be used to highlight, brighten, set the under eyes, whatever you wanna do with it. If you guys are interested in this palette, Shayla uses this almost every single day on her Snapchat and she actually uses it for her eyeshadow too. I've seen her do it like a thousand times. It's so fascinating to watch. But she uses all of the shades in here for her like entire face. So I think this is really great. Congratulations, Tarte and Shayla. Super excited for you guys. One of my favorite things about this palette is it says Titus approved. Aww. Do you see that? King Titus. And then Shayla's picture right here. Hey girl. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, next item I have for you guys is also from Tarte and they came out with new concealers. <clears throat> I love new concealers. Okay, so this one is called Shape Tape Concealer and they also came out with a blending sponge. So this is to sculpt, conceal, or use as a matte highlight. And I saw these and I was like, oh my God, these are massive. Are these not gigantic? I even checked. Point. 338 fluid ounces in here. And then I was like, okay, what's the biggest concealer that I have? And it's the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This one never runs out. And this is 0 0.28, 0 0.38, 0 0.28. So there is a lot of product in here. So I got shades light, medium, and I have medium. So let's see here. Also, if you guys are interested, Tarte on their snap, Deanna is always doing tutorials like just on her whole face. Not really like a tutorial, but she shows you how she does her makeup and she uses these concealers and this sponge. I see you, Deanna. Check out this applicator. Oh, this is a big guy. Doe foot. Doe foot. <laughs> Puts out a lot of product too. Ooh. Smells good. Oh God. Mm. All right, so here's the shade light medium and this is the shade medium. Ooh. That's pretty. That is a pretty color. If you have a deeper skin tone, this would be a nice concealer. It's a little bit dark for me. This would be more of a sculpting one, which is what it's designed for. Shape tape, sculpt, and conceal. If you guys have tried out this concealer, let me know in the comments down below. I personally haven't tried it out yet, but I will be trying it out very, very soon. Ooh, it's very creamy. Mm. 
That's got some coverage, girl. Where's your hand go? All right, next item I have for you guys is from Too Faced, and they came out with new lip injections, and these are colored lip injections. I think they already had a clear one, but now they have different shades, and there are six different shades here. You can see them like on the top here. Oh, there we go. There's some purples, nudes, which I really love, and peachy ones. Now, whenever I see like lip injection in the word, let me start that over. Whenever I see the words on a lip gloss, like a plumper or a lip injection, usually that means like, do you guys remember lip venom? I think it was when I was in middle school. Lip venom was like really popular. It's like uh, stuff you put on your lips that makes them tingle. They basically catch on fire and they plump up because they're so irritated. That's what I automatically think of. And honestly, I remember when I put it on, Back in the day, it hurt my lips so much that I am like scarred for life when it comes to that type of product. Okay, it says on the side, you may experience a slightly intense tingle that can last up to five to 10 minutes. Apply only within perimeter of lips. If applied on skin, a temporary redness or decay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it could have that ingredient in it. I haven't tried these yet, so I don't know, but I really love the colors of them. So I'm hoping they work out for me. All right, so here are the six different colors. Can you guess which side I like the most? The nudes, the nude dudes. There's actually a little bit of shimmer in this middle one, which I love even more, milkshake. Um, and then there are three fun colors. This one's pretty like, I mean, if it's sheer, it's still like just a peachy sheer color. And then we have, let's flamingo, like a boss, babe alert, spice girl, milkshake, angel kisses. So let's just try spice girl. Let's try spice girl. Oof, such a pretty color. Kind of reminds me of the Kylie lip gloss. A little bit like literally. It's like one of my favorite nude glosses ever. All right, here's Milkshake. I'm gonna try this one too. This is that one that has like um, shimmer in it. You do have to like put the wand in here several times to get a lot of product out. All right, so here is the Milkshake one. Oh, it's so shiny, girl. I'm loving that lip glosses are coming back in right now because I love lip glosses. And let's try this one. This is Let's Flemingo, since we got kind of a pink motif going on right now. I'm not like a pink gloss person. When it comes to like, I'll do like an intense pink lip, like hot pink or like a fuchsia or something. But when it comes to like lighter colors, I'm usually like a nude. So here is Let's Flemingo. That one's really pretty if you like more pinky colors. I don't feel any tingling yet, but I'm gonna leave it on and go on to the next product and we can decide. We can figure it out there. If I start crying or if I just disappear, then it really hurt. All right, next item I have to show you guys is from Jouer and this is their Luminizing Body Lotion and it's in this sexy white bottle. This is a Luminizing Body Lotion, which is very, very hot right now. There are a lot of body luminizing glow products coming out. And this is a regular moisturizer. This is not like a full-blown body makeup. So it's like there's different categories. If you're looking for like a body makeup, one that's totally gonna like change your color and cover everything, this is not it but this is a very, very pretty product. So I wore this the other day and I wore it on my legs and it looks really nice. Honestly, it makes your skin look kind of wet and it adds a little bit of bronzing to it. So you can see there's a little bit, and this is like really heavy, like this could cover my whole arm right now, but it adds a little bit of bronzing and it just has a really nice shiny finish to it. It just makes your skin look really healthy. I've worn it twice. The second time I wore it, the smell was so strong. It actually started making me a little bit nauseous. It smells really good. I really liked the smell the first time that, I, time that I used it. I really enjoyed it. I was like, God, this smells so good. It doesn't smell like a one of those other types of like body makeup products where it just smells like tanner and bronzer. It's gardenia, jasmine, and honeysuckle. It says it right on the front. It does have a heavy fragrance to it. But when I wore it the other day, I just put it like on my arms, my legs, and a little bit right here. And after like an hour, I had like a really bad headache and I had to go take a shower because it was just too much for me. I don't know if it was because of the Taco Bell that I had that afternoon. John thinks that's what it was. But it was just really strong. Sometimes scents really get to me like that and it's like, if there's too much of a strong scent, I start to feel sick. I have a very sensitive nose. No, I'm not pregnant, thank you so much. But besides the smell, I love this stuff. If you guys aren't really, really sensitive to fragrances, I would definitely recommend it. It's a really good product. I'll probably still use it. I'm gonna test it out again, just to see if I was like feeling weird that day, but it's a really great product. All right, next item I have to share with you guys is some skincare, which is from L'Oreal. They actually came out with three new face masks, which is pretty exciting. They're like clay masks, kind of like glam glow 
face masks. So there's three different flavors. This one is the Detox and Brighten. Refresh and allow skin to breathe. Okay, so that's what the charcoal one is supposed to do. I'm kind of excited they came out with like clay masks because I really love doing like face masks. So this one is exfoliate and refine pores. So this is a red algae clay mask. Reveal a polished, pore minimized, and smooth complexion. Oh, it's thick. I like that. Oh, it smells really good. All right, let's see what this last one is. Ooh, it says eucalyptus on it. Game over for me, man. So this last one is purify and mattify treatment mask. Let's just smell this. I love the color. The color gets me, man. Mmm, you smell it? Just kidding. Absorb impurities and unclogged pores, reduce excess shine, refresh, and allow skin to breathe. Yes! I'm gonna try this one. You wanna try this one out tonight, Johnny? Yeah, let's do that. You're very excited about it. It's fun to see when like drugstore brands come out with different types of products. Usually it's always like a serum or stuff that doesn't really get me excited, but I am pretty excited about these masks. So I'm gonna start trying them out. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you can follow me on Snapchat. 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 You can follow me on Snapchat and you can see my review on there for when I wear it. All right, and then the last item I have is from Too Faced. And I got this really cute package from them today. It has like a little coloring book in here. Too Faced TF Sketch Marker Limited Edition. Available in a kaleidoscope of colors from soft pastels to bold pop art shades. Do you like how I said pastels? Yeah, why did you do that? I don't know, I kind of want to start saying it that way now. Pastels? Yeah, pastels. So here are all the shades and look at, doesn't this just look like so much fun? Haven't swatched these yet. So let's, let's pick three for me to swatch right now. This one. This is Mermaids Don't Cry. Oh wait, no, steel blue. <laughs> it says mermaids don't cry. Okay. I like the orange one. This one? Yeah. Papaya peach? Yeah. Espresso? Yeah. That gets you going, huh? Yeah, that's my jam, bro. Can we do the yellow too? Yellow's kind of popping. Honestly, I like this emerald one also. Yeah, the emerald one. Okay. No shade to the other colors. This is tingling a little bit, by the way. It's not like a disturbing tingle. It doesn't make me want to cry like a lip venom. But is it giving you life? Is, it's giving me life right now, John. All right, so let's swatch some of these. Where should I swatch them? On your butt. <laughs> You're so dumb. All right, so the first color I have is Smoky Emerald. Looks like a deep hunter green. That looks nice. You always got to do the flick test, you know? Canary Yellow. Ooh. I think it's Canary. Canary. That's pretty. Steel Blue. Flick. Do you like that flick? It's a little runny. Here's deep espresso. It kind of dries a little darker, huh? And then papaya peach. Peach Panther. All right, so we just swatched five of the colors. First thing when I saw that they were felt tip, I'm not super crazy about felt tip. They're kind of hard for me to use. I feel like they feather a lot on my eye. I just usually have a more difficult time using felt tip, but I saw the colors and I was so excited to use these, but when I swatch them on my hand, I'm just not like totally blown away by them. I think I need to try them out on my eyes still, but I just feel like I thought the yellow was gonna be a lot more bold. Maybe I'm thinking like a cream gel liner, kind of like the Inglot ones or the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, like the yellow where it's in a pot and it's just so bright and so bold in one single swipe. But with these ones, like I like the colors, I think they look nice, but I'm not, I'm not like totally sold on it. It's not giving you life. It's not giving me life. All right, so that wraps up this episode of Hot New Shit. And let's see how much hair we have in the back now. I didn't fix my hair at all in this video. What do you think? How does my hair look? So that wraps up this episode of Hot New Shit. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. If you're loving any of this stuff, if you're really excited to try it, if you already own it, let me know what your thoughts are. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.